Welcome to a lesson on subtracting signed fractions. To subtract fractions with the same or like denominators, we're going to keep the denominator the same and then subtract the numerators. And the last step will be to simplify the fraction if possible. So for negative three-fifths minus one-fifth, for negative fractions, I prefer to have the negative sign in the numerator. So I'll rewrite this as negative three over five minus one over five or one-fifth. Now remember, if we wanted to, instead of subtracting a positive fraction, we could write this as plus a negative one-fifth, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as subtraction. And since we have a common denominator of five, the denominator is gonna stay five, and then we'll subtract the numerators. So we'd have negative three minus one in the numerator, and negative three minus one is equal to negative four, so our difference is negative four-fifths. So it's important to remember when adding or subtracting fractions, we must have a common denominator. If we don't have the same or like denominators, then the first step is gonna to be to determine the least common multiple of the denominators. This is called the least common denominator, or LCD. And once we find the LCD, we're gonna create equivalent fractions with this common denominator. And then we'll keep the denominator the same and subtract the numerators and simplify if possible. Here we have three-fourths minus negative one-half. So the first step is to determine the least common multiple of four and two, which will be our LCD. We can also think of this as the smallest number divisible by both four and two, and this would be four. Notice for this fraction here, if we multiplied two by two, we'd have the common denominator of four, we can do this as long as we do the same to the numerator. This is the same as multiplying by one since two over two is equal to one. So now we can rewrite this as three-fourths minus negative two-fourths. Notice how our denominator is now four, so it's going to stay four. And the numerator is going to be three minus negative two. Remember, three minus negative two is the same as three plus positive two. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So this difference would be five-fourths. Let's take a look at some more examples. Here we have negative two-fifths minus three-fifteenths. The first step is to determine the least common denominator or least common multiple of five and fifteen which is the smallest number divisible by five and 15, which would be 15. But if we don't recognize this, we can always list multiples of five and list multiples of 15. If we count by fives, we'd have five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. If we count by 15, we'd have 15, 30, and so on. But notice how the smallest number in common here is 15, our LCD. Now we want both fractions to have a denominator of 15. This one already does, but for this first fraction, since five times three is equal to 15, we're gonna multiply both the top and bottom by three. So now we're gonna have, this will be negative six fifteenths minus three fifteenths. Now that we have a common denominator, we can go ahead and subtract. The denominator stays the same. The numerator is going to be negative six minus three. Well, negative six minus three is equal to negative nine. So we have negative nine fifteenths, but nine and fifteen do have a common factor of three. We can show this by writing negative nine as negative three times three, and we can write fifteen as five times three. So here's the common factor of three. So our simplified fraction is negative three-fifths. Next we have negative three-tenths minus negative one-eighth. Again, we could write this as plus positive one-eighth, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form for right now and start by identifying the LCD, or least common multiple, of 10 and eight. Well, the smallest number divisible by 10 and eight is 40. Again, if we don't recognize that, we can list multiples of 10 and list multiples of eight. And 
Notice the smallest common multiple is 40, our LCD. So now we want both of these fractions to have a denominator of 40. And since 10 times 4 is equal to 40, we'll multiply both the top and bottom by 4 here. And since 8 times 5 is equal to 40, multiply both the top and bottom here by 5. So here we're going to have negative 12 fortieths minus, this will be negative 5 fortieths. So we have a common denominator of 40. And now we'll subtract the numerators. We'll have negative 12 minus negative 5. And remember, this is going to be equivalent to negative 12, and then instead of minus a negative 5, that's equivalent to plus a positive 5. So our denominator is 40. The numerator is negative 12 plus 5, which is negative 7. 7 and 40 don't have any common factors other than 1, so this is simplified. I think we have time for two more. Here we have 3 twelfths minus negative 1 fifteenth. First step is to find the LCD, or least common multiple of 12 and 15. The smallest number divisible by both 12 and 15 would be 60. Again, if we don't recognize this, we can list multiples of 12 and list multiples of 15. And here's our least common multiple, or LCD. And since 12 times 5 is equal to 60, we'll multiply this fraction by 5 over 5. And since 15 times 4 is equal to 60, we'll multiply this fraction by 4 over 4. So here we're going to have 15 sixtieths minus, here we're going to have negative 4 sixtieths. The denominator is going to stay 60. The numerator is going to be 15 minus negative 4. Again, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So this is equivalent to 15 plus 4. So this ends up being 19 sixtieths. And this fraction does not simplify. So for our last example, notice how we have negative 2 minus 5 sixteenths. We need negative 2 to be a fraction. So we'll go ahead and write this as negative 2 over 1. And if we have a denominator of 1 and 16, the LCD is just going to be 16. So we're going to have negative 2 over 1 minus, we can go ahead and drop these parentheses here, 5 sixteenths. We're going to multiply this by 16 over 16. So we have a common denominator. So now we have negative 32 sixteenths minus 5 sixteenths. We have a common denominator, so it's going to stay 16. Our numerator is going to be negative 32 minus 5. Again, we could write this as negative 32 plus negative 5, but hopefully we're okay with it in this form. Negative 32 minus 5 is negative 37. So we have negative 37 sixteenths. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop here for this video, but I do have more examples in other videos. I hope you found this helpful.